Hi guys, this is Coach Sean and I am back with another home activity for video for you. So it's Tuesday and today we're going to be focusing on balance and coordination. So both really important skills working on it for our sport. Okay? So as we did yesterday, we start for our warm-up, then we'll do our six different exercises for a minute each, have a break between each one, and then we'll finish off with some stretching. Now for today's session you are going to need a ball, it doesn't have to be a rugby ball, it can be any kind of ball you've got. If you haven't got a ball at home, just get a ball of socks, something like that, that works perfectly. And I'm going to be using some cones, but if you haven't got cones, that's fine. We can just put some other stuff on the floor. It's just more so you can see what I'm doing. And lastly, make sure you've got some water. Okay, right. So, if everyone's ready, off we go. So we start by warm up. So feet together, all we do is step out and cross. Step your foot out to the sides. Each time. So when we do this, make sure we keep our body upright and our arms into our side. And then from here, what we do is do big circles with our arms towards up. Arms brush past our ears. Nice big circles. And then we go back to our arms. Again, big circles. And last one, all we do is we pretend we're climbing out. So we're on a spot, just climb up now. To get arms and legs going. Got five more seconds. So five. Four, three, two, one, and stop there. Excellent. Okay, so the first activity we're going to do is we're going to balance it. So all I want you to do, we're going to balance on one leg. So we're going to stand on one leg, and you're going to pick the other foot up. Now, if you struggle to hold your balance, you can hold your other ear to give yourself some support, or put your arms out to your side. And half, and I'll keep telling you when to change legs. Okay, so we're going to start with three, three, two, one. Off you go. So just pick leg up. Hold your balance. If you've got someone with you that can help you hold on to them, back to them for balance, that's fine. So you hold this one for about five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Then change legs. Put that leg down. I'm going to pick the other leg up. Ready? Off we go. Very good. Make sure you're looking forwards. So now hold it for about three. Two, one, and down. Now we put the other leg down again and pick our first leg up. And now we see, we see if you can move it up and down. So it's going to be a little bit harder. So a bit of movement. Very good. And stop there and then the other leg. Let's pick it up. Five seconds left. 
four, three, two, one. Perfect, good job guys. So, next activity is gonna be catching but on our knees. Now what you do is we're gonna go down on our knees and we're gonna pick one knee up. So we've got a foot, foot up and our knee on the other side. So if you look from the sides, and my foot up and one knee flat. So you can have your foot, toes facing down or on your toes, it's up to you. But all we're gonna do, we're gonna stay in this position and we're gonna throw the ball up and catch it. So we're gonna try and keep our balance this way. And then halfway through, I'll tell you when to switch legs. Okay, ready? We're gonna start in five, four, three, two, one, off we go. So throw it up and back. Now if you've got someone in the room with you, you can ask them to, catch, to throw the ball and catch with you. So if you've got a partner or a parent, so your mum, dad, brother, sister, aunties, uncles, anyone in the house, we can throw the ball to them. You can catch it, they can catch it, and they can throw it back to you. And then we're going to swap legs in three, two, one, and stop there. So bring this foot down, and bring our leg up, so keep that foot, that uh, foot, try to keep your foot underneath your knee, there. Off we go. Three, two, one, off we go. So everyone in position, 
So it doesn't matter if you're doing hands or feet, uh, knees or feet. So from here, take, take one hand off, down, up hand off, down, one foot, down, up foot off block. Yeah, and we do that again. So we go hands, hands, foot, foot. Now if we do it on our knees, it'll be hand, hand, knee, knee. Okay, so make sure we keep in our, body, our balance the whole time. So left, hands, hands, foot, foot. Again, hand, hand, foot, foot. One time, hand, hand, foot, foot. Very good, guys. I think you saw the perfect one. It's very good. Okay, next exercise. Now, this one is called toe taps. So, I'm going to use my cones, but you can pick up anything you've got at home. So, I'm just going to put a cone here, here, and either side. Now, I'm going to use, I'm going to use this leg first to start with. And if I say forwards, we're going to tap the forwards cone. If I say side, tap side cone. If I say back, tap back. So, we're only going to do one leg to start with, and then we'll switch to the other side when I say. Okay. Right, we're going to start in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, off we go. So, touch forwards, side, back, forwards, back, side, back, forwards, side, back, side, side, forwards, back, back, forwards, Side, forwards, side, side, back, forwards. A bit confused then. And now we'll do the other leg. Ready? Here we go. Forwards, back, side, side, forwards, back, forwards, back, side, side, forwards, back, forwards, side. Side, forwards, back, forwards, back, side, forwards, side. Excellent, very good guys, give yourself a clap again. Okay, so we pick up our combs and move them out to the sides. So that is actually all of our exercises, our little challenges for today. So now we're going to finish off with a stretch. So remember, it's really important to stretch after every exercise session. So today, let's do some animal stretches. So the first thing we're going to do is be starfish. So take your feet apart, like this, and then stretch your arms out nice and wide. Stretch them out. Wiggle your fingers. There we go. And now we're going to be starfish, and go down the beach, try and touch toes on one side. Come up, and you go try and touch toes the other side. Very good. Now we're going to be a flamingo. And we're going to pick one foot up and try and hold that foot like this. If you can't do this, you can just let your leg hang. But you can hold that foot up. Remember, we're working on our balance, so this should be good. And the other side. Does anyone ever see the flamingo? Pink animals, pink birds stand on one leg, you get lots of them. Very good. Okay, now it's going to be a giraffe. So we just make a nice long giraffe neck with our hands and make your mouth stretch up them top leaves like a tall giraffe. And now go up into the balls your feet, stretch really high, trying to get them really top leaves. Fantastic. Okay, last one. Can we make be some elephants? So we're gonna make an elephant trunk like this. And all you do is always be straight, keep your legs straight and bend down and try and get some water. We imagine the elephants drinking water and we come up and spray the water. And again, ready to go down, drink up the water, and come up and spray the water. Very good, right? Give our arms and legs a shake. So that is us done for today, guys. Hope you had fun, hope you've enjoyed it. Remember, if we do it with our friends, do it with our family, make sure we give them a high five. 
and as usual, if no one's, if you buy yourself, sell five. Like, just like that. So I've been Coach Sean, and we look forward to seeing you again soon. Have a good day. Thank you.